It is August 28th, 2023, and you are watching The Code Report. Terraform was once the world's most loved open source infrastructure as code tool, but like many successful open source products, it sold out when it hit the big time. A couple weeks ago, HashiCorp announced that they're switching all of their core products, including Terraform, to a BSL license, which officially stands for bull open source license, although some people call it a business source license. It's been around since 2013, and many other companies have adopted it, like famously MongoDB, Elasticsearch, and Redis. It allows you to copy, modify, and redistribute the code, but commercial use is only allowed under specific conditions. And in the case of HashiCorp, you're not allowed to offer a competitive service, which means Terraform, Vagrant, and all these other products are no longer open source, like they were previously under the Mozilla Public License, which allows commercial use and distribution. On one hand, this makes total sense, because it prevents giant companies like Amazon and Google from taking the code that you've spent years developing and offering it as a paid service on their platform, essentially stealing your ability to monetize it. HashiCorp is a public company that IPO'd in 2021 right before the market collapsed, and while it's still growing, the growth rate is not spectacular for a tech company. And that's not good because they're also not profitable, and from a business perspective, it makes sense to lock down their products so they're the only ones that can monetize it. This could affect big cloud providers, but also other startups like Spacelift that offer Terraform services. They'll be able to continue offering services, but won't be able to incorporate any future releases or security patches. The problem, though, is that this kind of feels like a rug pull. HashiCorp invited everybody to use its products under an open source license and said, hey, everybody, let's make the world a better place together. But now in the middle of the race to make the most money, they're pulling out a gun and shooting everybody in the knees. <laughs> The source code is still available, but that doesn't mean it's open source. Because according to the Open Source Initiative, true free and open source software does not discriminate against commercial ventures. Terraform is now what you would call source available software. But this strategy could backfire. Terraform is a great tool, but infrastructure as code is not nearly as likely to cause vendor lock-in compared to a database like MongoDB or Redis. Because once your database is in production, you don't ever want to have to touch it. Developer-facing tools like Terraform, though, are far easier to replace. You've got open source tools like Ansible and Pulumi, or dedicated tools from cloud providers like CloudFormation and Deployment Manager, and you've also got cool new tools like SST and the newly announced Wing language, which is a full-blown programming language that can both provision resources in the cloud and execute code within those resources at the same time. The best part of this story, though, is that the open source community is not just going to sit back and take it. A project called OpenTF originally posted a manifesto asking HashiCorp to return to the original license. However, because those demands were not met, they've now announced a fork of Terraform that is truly open source source, and will have 100% interop with future releases of Terraform. But honestly, it's just so rude to undermine a billion dollar corporation like that. I can't believe anyone would go to github.com slash OpenTF Foundation slash Manifesto and click on the star button. I've already lost 70% on my HashiCorp stock, and the more people that go to github.com slash OpenTF Foundation slash Manifesto then click on the star button up here in the top right corner, the more likely it is that this stock I got rug pulled on is not going to recover. Do the right thing today and support your local venture capitalist and mega corporation by not clicking on the star button right here in the top right corner at github.com slash OpenTF Foundation slash Manifesto. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.